Okay guys, we're back uh, per one person's request. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't our, neither of our moms, so. Yeah, which is. It's legit. Oh, a real, a real fan. Uh, I, maybe he just likes watching us make fools out of ourselves or something. Excuse me, that was mean. Okay, well today we were gonna do like a reaction to the opening ceremony, which we watched together on Friday. It was goals. But we couldn't find like a YouTube video that was available, available. in our country. Uh, so we're gonna put a hold on that the one. Olympics. <laughs> uh, love you guys. But You're doing so we're great. gonna put a hold on that. And we are gonna just talk about our first kind of like thoughts now that it's been officially happening yeah. for a couple days mm -hmm. now. Um, would you like to go first? Sure, I, we, we kind of just made a list of some highlights, I guess. And um, I'll actually let you start and we can begin with the figure skating team competition. Oh, the figure skating team competition. Well, so much happened. My girl showed up. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to refer to Yevgenia Medvedeva as Brinley's girl. As okay? my, my girl. Well, just a little came, asterisk on it. So she came in first. For Russia, I mean the, the Olympic, Olympic athletes, athletes from, from Russia. Russia. Awkward. <laughs> oh, see, so, we, we got their flag so, right there. So she came. Yeah, there it is. She came. Short program. Got first. Did awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're watching this, I love you. Why would she be watching Nice this? try. Okay. So. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, so then with men's short program, as all of you may know, Nathan Chen went for the United States, mm -hmm. and I feel like he was not given enough credit. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like the sports media treated him unfairly. Uh, I'm going to put in some headlines right about now. Great, so the headlines are off the screen now. Okay, I feel like people overreacted. It's the guy's first Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, he's barely adult, an adult. <laughs> barely. <laughs> barely an adult. Mm -hmm. uh, it was literally his first time mm -hmm. at the Olympics, and he didn't even mess up that yeah. bad. <laughs> and, and for real, you have to think of how the media has played such a big role in how yeah. Olympic athletes are perceived. Um, <laughs> at Tanya Harding and Hansen Kerrigan. <laughs> Oh, and then when she didn't win the gold medal. Too soon. Okay. Is it though? <laughs> so but, over 10 years. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but that was interesting. I thought Patrick did a really good job. I agree. Canadian skater. I've been so. watching him since my, I watched my first Olympics in 2010, so I've been rooting for him ever since. Yeah. Uh, me and my mom were watching him in a competition at some point, maybe last year, and she was like, I like him. And I was like, me too. Me yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, and so... When that happened, the U.S., uh, I think we were bronze. We were either bronze or in fourth. Yeah. We were pretty much like we around were in fourth. We fourth. were in fourth, I think. Okay. Yeah, and so then... Also, um, shout out to the Kinerims. I don't know that if that's how you pronounce their name or not. Oh, but like, so now he's the one that doesn't know how to pronounce it. Oh, or at least I tried. Um, because we've never... We used to be good in Paris game, but we're, we haven't been in the past like, they a long so time. Good, they did so though. good, though. And they're so cute. I know. Can you... It's so awesome that they're married. And they put it super well. I've been saying this a few times ever since they said it. They said um, the Olympics is less like a competition and more like a celebration. And I was just like, that's what it's all about. Yes. That's really what it's all about. Exactly. And why the news media should not be criticizing Nathan for falling. I'm a little biased. I <laughs> make news. If you didn't notice. Great. <laughs> so ice dancing went well. Oh, always does. Always does. I love ice dancing. I'm sure a lot of people were skeptical since it wasn't Meryl Davis and Charlie White doing it for us. But the Shib Sibs really showed out they this year for really us. They did. It was amazing. Uh, I'm, I watched on my phone. I. Oh, you, wa you watched it on your way back from the library, right? Yeah. Okay. I was on my computer. I was on my phone. Yes. Okay, so they did great, mm -hmm. and then uh, let's see what else. Oh, um, free skate, free skate happened, and Adam Rippon did it. He he killed it. 
He killed it. He absolutely killed it. It was amazing. And I felt like he deserved more points for that amazing routine. Can I get a retweet? Yeah, he did so great. Uh, girls, uh, Mirai, landing. Boy. That uh, triple axel. She did that three and a half rotation. Okay. And okay. stuck it. Second guess, she has to go right up and do it. Yes! Uh, she hit that triple axel, which is the first time an American woman has ever done that. In, comp in Olympic in, competition. In a, yeah, I was about to say, in an Olympic uh, competition, which was awesome. She's so awesome. Yay. Okay, so yeah. Uh, I felt like she was also cheated a little bit mm -hmm. because I felt like she, <laughs> I might get got. Uh, I feel like she deserved first place. And that that Russian girl, um, Alina. Alina Zagatova. Alina Zagatova. Here I we felt go. like okay. We're about to go in a soapbox. Listen, <clears throat> time for Bentley soapbox. As much as I love watching my boy Nathan do as many quads as his heart desires, something that frustrates me about Alina's program is that she purposely wasted time during um, the first half of her program. And then during the second half, only did jump. She loaded it. She loaded it. And I'll pull up a tweet. Um, I will pull up a tweet. So uh, I will admit, uh, I did get a little bit on my soapbox because Ashley Wagner did make sense of what I was feeling. Mm -hmm. And she was the one who tweeted about it. I can put the tweet in here. But um, uh, that was the about killing it in the first half was a direct quote from Ashley. Just want to give her where credit is due. Yep. But that still frustrated me. Oh, yeah. Um, it didn't seem very artistic. Mm -hmm. uh, part of figure skating is the artistry, yeah. right? And as much as, like Ashley said, as much as I admire the strategy and drive mm -hmm. to win, I just felt like it wasn't a good program. Please don't kill me, Russia. I mean, Olympic, Olympic athletes, athletes from, from Russia. Russia. Go or. Keep All right. canoeing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So yeah, that's about it from what I thought about figure skating. Oh yeah. Uh, what else do we want? I'll, I'll go on a soapbox, okay. just a little bit. Okay. So, mogul skiing is my favorite Winter Olympic okay. event by far. Hannah Carney is my favorite Winter Olympian of all time. I saw her win her gold in 2010. I still watch that moment over and over. And that's I'm... Cute. It is, it is pretty cute. Um, I'm sad that we didn't medal in women's moguls. And we still have men's moguls, but... And I, I don't follow it because they don't show moguls on your usual TV um, station in the southern United States. Because what is snow down here? Um, but I found out that one of our mogul skiers was the World Cup leader. And, like, the Olympics is a tough one, but I was just kind of sad that we didn't medal. You know, I was like, see yeah. us medal in that. We, we have big root, like deep roots in that sport is our the first gold medal to a woman in mogul skiing when it um, debuted in Albertville in 1992 was to an American woman but that was my soapbox hopefully the men can pull it out of it but it, it happens so the next bit we're going to talk about is the men's luge competition and the reason this is so important for me to talk about is that history was made by our one and only Chris Mazder who won the first medal for an American man luger in the Olympics Four years ago in Sochi, you'll remember that Aaron Hamlin won the first luge medal period for America, which was so great and very, um, it was very important that she uh, carried our flag in the opening ceremony. Yeah. But then just four years later, Chris Mazur did this amazing thing, and it was so important because not only did he win silver, but kind of a, an Olympic debutante, um, Gleischer from Aus Austria, won the gold medal over Felix Locke. And the reason that's a big deal, okay. Felix Locke is like, big deal. Yeah. It's like, um, every sport has like kind of its person, like Halfpipe has Sean White, things like that. Right. Well, Luge has Felix Locke right now, and Germany's always been good at the sliding sport. Um, and he goofed. If you go back, if you go back and watch that, um, the clip from his, his now, fourth run. Now, hold on. Did he actually goof, or he, did he make a mistake? Make a mistake. And we all okay. make a mistake, you know. Um, I'm not good. I don't know the definition between goof and mistake, but like, you can see at one set of turns, he, and how losers go, they use their feet, and you'll see that he hit the wall and then he went up the turn much higher, higher above the line than you would want to, and really cut his time down. And it was just one, it was just one mistake. 
that can just ruin a whole set of four runs for a loser, which is really sad. It can you know? ruin anything. Mm -hmm. Like if we look back at the U.S. Championships of figure skating this year, and an unnamed person, a figure skater who might have messed up uh, his free skate. <clears throat> so, <Yeah>. Rip, <laughs> we didn't even plan that. I kind of did. Oh, okay, great. It's a good pun. <gasps> Rip, pun. <laughs> okay, so we're going we're back to. <laughs> anyway, Chris Master did a big thing, and that's so exciting because we don't ever do good luge. That's and I always like when um, Americans are able to excel in sports that we usually don't excel in. That is amazing. It's just, exci it's just exciting. So, uh, let me get back on the figure skater. We're just hopping right back on that soapbox. Soapbox. Not really a soapbox. It's just... A soap train. <laughs> soap train. No, soap plane, it's not really like I'm going to be talking at you. It's more like I'm going to be sharing something that I loved. Besides everything great that happened, there was a good, good pair of skate. Uh, I have their names here, so I don't screw it up. Now I know why you're talking about this bear skate. <laughs> Get Toot toot, train continue. <laughs> the pair skate of uh, Suzaki and uh, Kihara, I think I said that incorrect probably, uh, skated to uh, Yuri on Ice from the hit there it is. figure skating anime Yuri on Ice, which is really good you should watch it i'll link it down below you can watch it on youtube okay of course you can <laughs> great i just wanted to share that that was something i loved so. just what the olympics are all about yes coming together celebrating stuff like that okay so chloe kim chloe kim another we, reason we, we to just celebrate. watched her do this oh my god okay she threw down a 93 oh, so points in her first run of three and she literally, she secured it right there. It was yeah. that moment, she's killed it in her first go. Mm -hmm. Nobody else could top it. Uh, Snowboard from China almost did it. It was a third well, place position. Uh, we'll get back to okay. that. Third place position was the one that was really contested. Um, really among our American sk um, skaters, um, snowboarders. So Kelly Clark, love of my life. Fifth Olympics, you know, I was just rooting for her because you know, she's been to five Olympics. She's great, she's radical. Um, they have Ariel Gold, who like, we had, we had two young skate, uh, snowboarders, Ariel Gold mm -hmm. and Madison, I forgot her last name. They um, had a rough go around for the first, it was the first Olympics, so makes sense. Um, and Ariel Gold killed it in her last run of three to push Kelly Clark in the fourth place, fourth place position. And I'm really sentimental, so I always remember like, Olympians from past Olympics, so I always kind of naturally cheer for them more. So I was a little sad, but I was glad America got that bronze. And then we can talk about the attempt made by the Chinese snowboarder. Well, we never said that Chloe Kim got first place. Oh, yeah. She got first place! And the medal ceremony is happening, like, super early tomorrow morning. So, will we be watching? In a replay. There it is. <laughs> like, you all will be watching this video on replay, right? And giving it thumbs up and commenting below. Great. Okay. Chloe Kim got gold yes. and then pulled out a 98 on her last victory lap run. It was amazing. But by that time, she knew she was gonna win. Yeah. Because what hence, happened, Boomer? Hence the, the the term victory lap. But what happened? She won the gold medal. But what it? happened before her victory lap? It China. was not good. Oh, China messed up. Yeah. Just couldn't finish the rotation and landed a bit. You know. Just one of those like going for it moments, and you gotta take a risk to do it. It's the Olympics. Yeah. Only got one every four years. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. It was fun to watch that happen just yep. a couple minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And and now we can talk about some snowboarding that happened not a couple minutes Wait. ago, huh? But also before we get into this, okay. something that I'd like to pose a question, even though Boomer's already given me an answer for this question. Do I know but the question anyways. Is? Everyone is so young. Oh, <laughs> I will literally, yeah. like, I can just list off. Chloe Kim, Chloe 17. Kim. Nathan Red. Chen, 18. Is he 18. 18. Red. The, the announcer said 19, but I'm pretty sure his birthday is in May. We'll fact check that. We'll fact check it, but I'm pretty sure yeah. his birthday is in May. Vincent Cho is 17, yeah. right? Yeah. And then Red Gerard, who won gold in uh, Snowboarding Slope Style, is 17 as well. It's crazy. I am 20 years old. And I have not won a gold medal. I'm not a published author. 
I have done nothing with my life. I feel so unaccomplished. I learned how to do a cartwheel three years ago. Can you do one now? No. Ah. Well, we won't get another video another time. Okay. <laughs> All right. So back. That was just my thing about the Olympics. Yeah. That I'm just been like, ah, I feel so unaccomplished, but also I'm really happy for the other kids in our generation. Mm -hmm and other young adults yeah. who are doing so well in the Olympics this year. And I'll give my answer to your question, what okay. I thought. Um, the sports that you know these young people are doing have all been snowboarding, and part of that, I believe, I feel like every country has a culture to its athleticism, and I think that's part of ours. Because it's such a big thing in America, yeah. just in terms of the recreational and then the athleticism behind it. Um, and in terms of the young age, I mean, I guess, you just gotta be young to be able to do the stuff. I don't really have an answer to that one because look at <laughs> Kelly Clark. She's just rocking it. Yeah, and Adam Rippon, 28, right? And killed mm -hmm. it. So, like, it's a complete. I don't know. It's just a. It's just one, one of those things. So, we talked about. Red, I mentioned Red Gerard won gold in slope style. Mm -hmm. Jamie Anderson defended her gold medal. From Sochi the other night. Oh, it was so good. And she also had a victory lap. Yeah. Red Gerard came down to the very end and got it, but Jamie Anderson got that victory lap, which is great. Is it bad that I kind of like it when they don't like have that victory lap when it's more like oh, I down know. to the last minute? I like it because it's not as panicky, but also it's like it's more exciting when it comes down. Right I to like the, very the end. anxiety. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it does make for a some good competition. It does. You know? Let's see. What, a, a little shout out I want to give. I want to give a shout out to Jessie Diggins. She's a cross country okay. skier and we have not meddled in cross country skiing, men or women, in about 50 years or so. And she placed fifth in the ski athlon the other day and that was the highest finish we've had so far. So I'm thinking it could happen. I thought it could happen in Sochi, but we missed it by a few, I think about fifth or sixth place. Um, but I really think it could happen this year. And also for uh, biathlon, we have a man who it, who won a World, World Cup medal at, during the World Cup season and is also ranked internationally. So I feel like there's a chance in there. We've never medaled in biathlon. So if we medal, then we will have, I think, medaled in every Winter Olympic sport, which would be a big deal. Also, I saw this right before we turned the television off. We were watching the Olympics before this, naturally. Um, Chloe Kim's medal was the 99th Winter Olympic gold medal, I think. So I wonder who will be the 100th. Who knows? <laughs> tune in to find out. Not here, the actual Olympics. But tune yeah. in here too. You know what um, I forgot about now, what? but we need to bring up? The oh. U.S. women's hockey team. You go for it. Well, we won <laughs> a oh. couple days ago. Uh, obviously, there's still some games left, but well, yeah. it was really exciting. It was three to, I think, three to one. Three to one, mm -hmm. yeah. Against Finland. And yep. Finland is a hockey power. Yeah, house. and so I was so excited. I happened to be awake <laughs> when it was being uh, live streamed. What time was it live streamed? Like at 2 a.m. Boy. On Sunday I was in morning, bed. maybe. I'm not sure, but I happened to be awake and I watched it and then I watched the rest of it the next day and it was really awesome to see our ladies do so well. And we obviously were forgetting one major thing that happened. Yes. North and South Korea marched together under one flag. I'll put that here uh, in the opening ceremony. And their women's hockey team is a combined team. That's so important. And when they carried the torch to the final bearer, it was a North Korean Weird. woman That's and a right. South Korean woman, which I thought was so That cool. was so relevant. That was amazing. That was really important because there have been a few times where like the torch lighting has been used to bridge gaps between two um, groups like it happened in Sydney 2000. You can see like from our last video when we reacted to it, mm -hmm. I think I mentioned it, um, it bridged the Aborigines and the European colonizers. Um, but tonight it bridges the gap between North and South Korea. It's such a big deal. Then, obviously, if you didn't, if you couldn't guess before who was gonna light like the actual cauldron. Oh come on! Like, I feel like everyone saw that one coming. Yeah. Or at least Olympics not. Yeah, like Unikim. Do we want to say? Okay. Oh well, well it's already happened. And plus, I already said it by the time you said, should we say it? Uh, one golden in women's figure skating in 2010. And I believe she had the highest score ever to that point. That's amazing. So I don't know that's for sure, but it was it was Heck a big yeah. deal like that. And then when Silver in Sochi, which I still think was a little biased. 
Thank you, Olympic we can make athletes a, from Russia. <laughs> we can make a, um, a soapbox video not, later. No, not a soapbox video. An Olympic conspiracy theory. Okay, Whoa. actually comment down below if you'd be I interested in an <laughs> Olympic conspiracy theory video. I'm pretty sure there are tons. Oh, yeah. There. Then there are like actual things we could, actual yeah. serious things we could talk about. Yeah, like... Okay, so, in this blast part, we're gonna share our favorite moment from the week, and I'll go first. Mine was when Mariah landed the triple axel. Yay, women. And especially... So and yay, America. Yeah. The only time you might ever hear me say that. Oh uh, yeah, and you have to think she held her composure like through that because she was in a performance. But, but, but then when she finally left, so once sorry, her jumps were, once her jumps were over, you could see like her hands like go out like that. Yes, yes, and it then was once so it was over, It was so good. Oh, she was like, oh, she did it. Yeah. I, what was that noise I made? I don't know. I, but it was like an excited noise, and I, I, I think I teared up. Maybe. When haven't you teared up? I'm surprised I haven't teared up yet. I, I cried during the opening ceremony. I've been it's crying true. at the commercials. Like, <laughs> there's this one Folgers commercial that makes me cry. Yeah, I, my favorite commercial is the Walmart commercial. No, that's our least favorite. I, that's, I was trying to be sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> they could have picked a better song. Okay, great. Anyway, off that soapbox. Um, okay, so my favorite part I bet I won't so guess what it is. You probably won't guess. Just because, like, it's been... I always have a hard time choosing a favorite part because I like all of them. Um, it was hard to choose, you know. Chris Mazder doing that. May, my favorite thing about the Olympics is watching people's dreams come true. And especially for a luge sledder. Like, that's a big deal. Especially for America. It's just kind of not part of our athletic culture like I talked about earlier. Um, but probably, like, my favorite part, which is just so, like... So iconic, was when Adam Rippon... <laughs> Skated right by the judges and gave him a little, just a little, little point. <laughs> it's just like one of those things, like being openly gay at the Olympics, and just like such a big deal for the community and things like that. And just like really, like the Olympics are all about like being together, coming together, bridging together. And so it was just honestly it was a really funny moment too, you know. And for somebody being like his true self to the whole world, and finally like, getting his dream. It's pretty. It's pretty lit. I'll say it's pretty lit. Living his best life. He, he he was living his best life. And he seemed so excited too, which is something. Oh that yeah. I loved. That's what I love when someone you know when they know that they did so well. Oh yeah. And you can see it on their face, and even though they're still doing what like they're supposed to be doing, so mm -hmm. like whether it's snowboarding or skating, they're yeah. still doing their program or yep. whatever the task is, but you can tell on their face. Oh yeah. You just see like the biggest smile. It is and so And for them amazing. to do it on Olympic ice, Olympic snow. <sighs> yes. It's just like, that's what they work for. Yes, it's amazing. All right, well, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Even if, if you didn't like the video. Yeah, and if you want more videos like this, uh, yeah, awesome, that's it. Have fun watching uh, the Olympics. You'll probably hear from us soon to react to some more Olympics because we got a lot more time for it. And then we might even react to them afterwards because oh. I can't let things go like that. Neither can I. That's why we're friends. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.